The phenomena we are about to cover may at first sound absurd, and indeed it would appear to be impossible. However, due to the vast array of witness testimonies which span the earth, it would be ignorant to not approach the subject with an air of curiosity. The phenomena became known as entombed animal, and throughout the years it has been referenced in the writings of William Newberg, J.G. Wood, Ambrose Paré, Robert Plot, André Marie Constant Dumeril, John Wesley, even Charles Dickens mentioned it in his journal All the Year Round. According to Fortean Times, a British monthly magazine devoted to the anomalous phenomena, about 210 entombed animal cases have been described in Europe, North America, Africa, Australia, and New Zealand since the 15th century. Animals are reportedly found alive after being encased in solid rock, coal, or wood for an indeterminate amount of time. The accounts usually involve frogs or toads, thus the phenomenon is sometimes called toad in the hole. Although it has been dismissed by mainstream science, it remains a topic of interest to the Fortean researchers among others. On rare occasions, multiple animals are said to have been found encased in the same place. Benjamin Franklin wrote an account of four live toads claimed to have been found enclosed in quarried limestone. One Eric G. Mackley claimed to have freed 23 frogs from a single piece of concrete while widening a road in Devonshire, the UK. And an 1876 report from South Africa said that 63 small toads were found in the middle of a 16-foot wide tree trunk. Though reports of entombed animals have occurred as recently as the 1980s, during the 1820s, English geologist William Buckland conducted an experiment to see how long a toad could remain alive while encased in stone. He placed toads of different sizes and ages into carved chambers within limestone and sandstone blocks, then buried the blocks in his garden. Buckland concluded that toads could not survive inside rock for extreme lengths of time and determined that reporters of the entombed animal phenomenon were mistaken. In an article in an 1890 Scientific American, a writer declared, quote, Many well-authenticated stories of the finding of live toads and frogs in solid rock are on record. While a few years later the editor of the magazine Nature argued, quote, It matters little to tell the reporters of such occurrences that the thing is absolutely impossible, and that our believing it would involve a conclusion that the whole science of geology, not to mention biology, is a mass of nonsense, end quote. Assuming that out of the hundreds of reports from around the world, some were actually true, then just how did these animals become entombed in stone? And how did they survive? The last official report was in the 1980s, so we may have to wait a while for another occurrence. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.